Hello, and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 14, the Steam Edition. Uh, let's just get this plan. So, I think last time we were kind of working on getting ourselves established a bit here. Um, Boyle had, yeah, shattered his leg. Paula... Oh, I believe we restricted Paula, yes, to the compound so she would clean up Mandrel's cell, which she has done. So let's go ahead and unrestrict her so she can do some <clears throat> hauling. Now, I know I actually said in my last video that I wanted to build this wall and all this stuff within that video, but, you know, clearly that isn't the case yet. We're working on it. Can speed it up a bit. Steve here is working on another cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah, there's just going to be a bit of time because, like, what happens is he builds this one cowboy hat, and then he goes and he puts it in the uh, um, the uh, the stockpile, and then someone goes and grabs it, and then it no longer counts as having a, a hat around when it's not in the stockpile. So he'll make another one. That's what's been going on, and it'll probably go on until everyone has a cowboy hat. Except, uh, Boyle might not give up his Kevlar, because that's still useful. So Steve's mining. Just want to see if there's anything more important he could be doing. We are low on food, so maybe we'll tell Steve to do some hunting. He's going to go hunt a hare for us. We need a lot of meat, so I'm just going to look around and see. Here's some more rats. It'd be nice to find some more. What do we, what do we have in terms of turkeys? We have a male and a female. Female. I know we have, I think we have a couple more around toggled to be, um, hang on, this music sounds really loud. There we go. Sorry, I forgot to set the game volume back down from the last time I played. Hopefully it wasn't too loud there. Um... Just want to flag a bunch of stuff to be hunted. And uh, Steve can just spend some time doing that. A bunch of steel over here that needs to be hauled. Everyone's asleep right now. Which is kind of weird because it's like 6 p.m. I guess we're all recovering from that raid. Let's check our prisoners' needs. Slept in the cold. Okay, well this is actually um, inside now, so it should stay a little bit warmer. We might still need another heater, though. Um, in darkness, so we need to get that built. Let's see what's Andy working on. Oh, he's going to go put on one of these cowboy hats. Speed this back up. Going to go consume a meal, and then hopefully he should start um, constructing some stuff for us. He's going to go relax socially. He is pretty low on joy. Uh, I'm wondering if we should go about creating any more um, things for joy. Because uh, uh, the more they do one activity for joy, the less joy it gives them. So I think I will go ahead and just queue up a chess table. Oh, we need wood. Yes, 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 we need wood. So let's chop some wood. And we do need to clear out this area for security anyway, so let's just go ahead and do that. Flag a bunch of stuff. But I do actually want to build... How am I doing on steel? I have seven... That's silver, so I don't actually have any steel. Oh, and he's hauling some. 
to this heater. I don't know where he got that steel. Oh, I think that was some of the stuff that was being mined. I'll probably go ahead and queue that up. Would really be nice to have Alex on our on our side here. Yeah, you are flagged to be recruited. Oh, Paula's gonna try right now. That would be awesome if she just joined us. Ah, uh, twenty-eight percent chance though. That's really really good. So we will we will have her soon. Um, let's work on another bedroom. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And let's put a door. So I hear wood being cut. All right, Paul is cutting wood. Which unfortunately means she's not hauling, but you know, there's only so much we can do. That's why it'll be really nice to get um, Alex on our side because we can just have her set as like a permanent uh, constructor. I'm really wondering if we should just let Mandrill go now. Just gonna look around real quick, see if there's anything else I can flag to be hunted. Oh, I want to... That's a male turkey. Here's the female. Let's tame her. Oh! There's serv... Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a raid. A group of pirates from Sword Outfit have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Oh, really? Is it just two guys? Pi and Olga. It's two people, but they have personal shields. And this guy has a, pl a Plastel Gladius, which is like a sword. So these guys are pretty tough, even though they're using melee weapons. We'll just have to do our best to keep them at range. Uh, but let's go ahead and do our normal thing and restrict Paula here to the compound. They're pretty close, and since they're coming from here, I'm guessing they're going to be coming around this corner. So let's go ahead, draft these guys, put them down, down here, I guess. Or maybe we can just put them here and make them. We can just shoot at them all the way, uh, all the way across. Because they should be coming up. Yeah, we might need to have to. We might have to do a little ducking in and out of places. I really wish Paula wouldn't go in and out, but... You know, there's not like an indoor hallway here. So, yeah, stick to cleaning. Okay, where are these guys going? Okay, well we have one over here and one over here. I'm not sure exactly where they're pathing to. This is really weird. Um, okay, you two. I guess maybe we can go around the side and take some shots. Oh, he's gonna kill one of our turkeys. That's cool. Oh, crap, he's killing our other turkey. He's got that personal shield. I don't know where the other one went, but I'm getting nervous. Oh, he's over there. Uh, 
uh, boil. Let's see if we can catch the other guy. He's down here. Paula, unrestrict, and how bad are you, Boyle? Okay, he didn't lose any other limbs or anything. Please rescue Boyle. Fortunately, we killed this guy. So maybe we can catch this guy. Got him. Of course we accidentally killed him as well. Which is pretty irritating. We keep killing uh, our potential recruits, but you know, better better that than than them still being alive and running around. So uh, Boyle is hurt. Paula, you're our second in doctoring, right? Yeah. Go, Paula. Please prioritize treating him. And then we can undraft all of these people. So they can just go back to their normal life. Um... Steve here was cut across the torso with the Gladius, but I think hopefully Boyle should, um, or we can get Paula to patch him up. So Paula's going to patch him up here. He's got a huge bleeding rate. He's actually got pretty cut up by the Gladius. So, just hope he doesn't get any infections and holds in there. Okay, I think he's going to be fine. We might get some infections, but hopefully nothing too serious. Um, we really need to get a weapon for Boyle that's not... Here, Boyle. Take the survival rifle. Actually... It says 18 on a 2.5. I just want to see this pillar. Oh wow, the the, the pi I think it's pila pillar pilum pilum is one, but it has a 30 damage, but it has a 20 range. This has a 37 range, so uh, I think we'll go with the range boil take the gun just be nice to have everyone I forgot he's super slow uh, equipped with a firearm see if we can get Paula to rescue these animals Rescue Turkey 2. How bad are you? Ugh, her tail was cut off. And Paula's not focusing on actually healing. Oh, because Boyle is her doctor. Boyle's going to come and tend to this doctor. We should find some more turkeys to, to tame. We should just tame every turkey we see. For fun. Tame all the turkeys. Tame the turkeys. I assume some of these are female. They might not be, but oh, here we go. Yeah, we can we can slaughter the the males later on if we have too many of them. 
What's Steve doing? Playing horseshoes? Is everyone unrestricted? Yes. Boyle is tending to turkey too. So. Oh! Oh, yes! Awesome! Alex joined as a new recruit. That's great. That's really, really, really good. So let's go ahead and set up her priorities. So we want her to be a number one patient. She can't firefight because she's a pyromaniac. Um, no doctoring. Bed rest, yes, all the way. Flick, yes, all the way. Horrible social skills. Her handling's all right. Maybe she can be our main... Oh no, Andy's definitely our handler. Yeah, let's bump Andy up to one on handling since she's going to be our new main constructor. And we can go ahead and set her as that. Um, that looks pretty good. Repair one, grow, no. Mines to four. Smith, no. Art, five. Is that better? No. Um, but Steve is set to do everything else. I might just set Alex here to do art in case that comes up and then research which yeah she should she should not be handling that Paula might be the one to handle research eventually we do need to get the research going uh, we'll just go ahead and put four down there we'll put a we'll put a four for everybody for research so I assume that Sienna is going to put some clothes on at some point because she's just walking around with um, just pants. Assume we have. Uh, we don't really have any shirts. I'm going to. Hang on. I'm going to move the shirt up. Actually, do pants and then shirts and then dusters. Yeah. Actually, let's do shirts before hats for now. Um, we just got another escape pod. And it says there's a relationship. Let's see what it is. All right, we got... Uh, I do not know how to pronounce that. I think... Uh, Bo, Bolu? Is that how you say that? Bolu? Uh, I'm just going to say... Uh, what, what do you... What do you Chemical interest, lazy, that sucks. But a nine in medicine, it would be really nice to have another doctor. And um, she is uh, Alex's mother. So we really should rescue her. Let's do that. Actually, we don't want to rescue her. We want to capture her. Because if you want to recruit somebody, you have to capture them. Even if, like, she's... You know, the mother of someone in your colony. It's kind of awkward. I, I hope that's something that they uh, improve at some point. One of our hunters lacks weapons. Oh yeah, Alex, how's your... Your sheer... Military skills aren't that great, but... What's better, a pila or a short bow? I think we're gonna... Grab... The pila think because that thing does a ton of damage and it totally wrecked Boyle's leg in one hit so maybe it would be nice to have one of those on our side all right Alex is already getting to construction which is great what's everyone else up to uh, okay Steve is capturing uh, Bolu I think here Let's hunt this ostrich. Speed this up. Well, that would be great. I think in this case, we can just go ahead and say, uh, release you, Mandrel. You just take, you're just going to take a bunch of food, and we're going to have, you know, six people with this person. Um, I wonder how she is at research, because we'll definitely need a researcher at some point. All right. Uh, okay, this time we're going to do it right. We want to flag her to, to, to get medicine. At least herbal. Yeah, we might... Well, we'll, do, we'll just go all out. Chat and recruit. 
No, she can't research, but that's fine. That's fine. So, what are her needs? Uh, she's wearing worn out apparel. That's another thing I wish you could do. Uh, like when Alex was in here, she was upset because she was naked. But you can't give a, um, a prisoner clothes, as far as I'm aware. Um, Steve is cooking a fine meal. Because we have meat now. I kind of want you... Oh, I guess we don't have enough. I was going to say I wanted him to prioritize building... Um, making the shirt so that Alex no longer gets a naked uh, mood debuff, but uh, I guess we don't have enough cloth kicking around. You know, once we strip some of these random people, though, um, we should have clothes off of them. Uh, which, by the way, what Paul... Oh, Paul is asleep. Okay. Alex is hauling wood. Oh, she's not a hauler, which is kind of annoying, but... We should be able to keep her keep her pretty busy with the uh, the constructions. Boil here, tending to our new uh, prisoner. Andy is stargazing. Well, hopefully now that we have Andy. Um, you know, we, we took his handling up, um, some of these turkeys will start to get trained. Which would be very nice. We have a bunch of survival meals over here. I'm gonna just say, Andy, since you're semi-close, you're gonna try and tame this turkey. Can you haul all these survival meals? I mean, it's just like free food sitting around down here. So, that would definitely be nice to have back at the base. This is staying cool. Oh my god, this thing's like wrecked. Why is nobody repairing this? Uh, everyone to repair. Can someone repair this? Andy, please repair this cooler. <laughs> I guess the priorities are just such that everyone has something else of, of higher priority. <sighs> this is counting as outdoors again. Please finish this door. There we go. Alex, please finish this wall. Let's put a... Uh, I was going to put a wooden door... Uh, a wooden bed down, but apparently we don't have enough wood. We just need to get some of this wood hauled. Well, I guess it's getting used as, as soon as it was placed, because I don't see any sitting around. Alright, speed up. Alternatively, we could give Boyle, or Alex, or whoever, uh, we could say, take this uh, Gladius. Um... But you're a constructor, so maybe not. But we could give somebody the, gladi uh, the gladi uh, Gladius sword, and then we could give them the personal shield, and they could be like a brawler type that gets up in people's faces and cuts them. Which would be really effective with, um, you know, with everyone else having weapons. It's, it's nice to kind of have someone with a, with a melee weapon to go around and, and knock people's heads in. Oh, here we go. Because Mandrill exited the map, map, uh, map healthy, relations with Purple Panther Gabella have improved by 15. And that also means we can set this as a um, um, colonist bed so that Alex can use it. So Alex should, should do that. I guess her joy is no. I don't know why she's relaxing socially instead of sleeping. She's set to sleep. But no, now she's gonna build stuff. I guess it got too early, and her rest bar was full, so she uh, is not concerned. Also, um, I need to set her stuff. So do this, and an hour of joy. There we go. You should be done. All right, you're all healed up. What are your needs? You're in a moderate amount of pain. That's 
that's being dealt with right now with the bandaging. Ugly environment. Uh, that will be because all your blood. So if we tell Paula to restrict to the compound again, she should she should do some cleaning. We do have turkey leather. That means that Steve might actually. Um, oh, mad animal. A local ibex doe has gone mad. It will attack every one it sees. So I'm guessing it's this one here. Not, not too concerned. Okay, we're gonna tame this guy. Did we lose this door? I guess we did. I'm glad I noticed that. Let's go ahead and make it steel. Don't want people bashing through it over and over again. Uh, let's go ahead and draft everybody. Let's just kill this doe. I'm not too concerned. We got him. Undraft. Hey, free meat. Oh no, Solar Flare. So Solar Flare, I don't know if we've got one in this game, I don't think we have. It um, turns off all your electrical devices as long as it lasts. Yeah, it can really, really be bad in, in, in certain situations. Uh, hauling steel to door. See, this is the annoying part. She's gonna come and haul that one steel, but since she's a hauler, I can't make her haul more than that. We are building this upper wall, looks like, which is nice. Paula is attempting to recruit here. Let's see what it says. She's fully healed. 7.3 chance of recruit. What's your Yeah, that'll that'll go up. That'll go up as her as her needs improve. In darkness. Oh, that'll be the solar flare. Uh, I think everything is in good shape. Looks like Paula cleaned up the blood so we can unrestrict her, get her back to hauling, cutting trees and such. So much rice just sitting out. Things are are, are, are deteriorating. Um, but we just don't have enough haulers. Uh, whatever happened to Anessa? Do we still have Anessa? Yeah, she just hasn't received training. I assume Andy's actually going to be training things now. Oop. Paula, please uh, prioritize refueling this stuff. Definitely important to do. We, should, we could probably replace this with an electric furnace, but... Ooh! A group of travelers from La Vega of the Rock are passing by. Uh, but none of them have any items for trade, so... That's fine. It doesn't really do anything for us. The one thing that you that can happen with these is if you get like mad animals or a raid or something, um, they can come into combat with these um, visitors, which can, you know, take some of the heat off of you, which can be potentially helpful at times. Uh, oh, the solar flare is ending. Wow, that was really fast. That was a very short solar flare. So many muffalos over here. Oh man, I really wish we could. I'm really nervous about fighting these guys because, uh, yeah, they're just a lot of them and our weapons are kind of crap right now. Look at all this food laying around. I wish we had more haulers. I think I'm just going to set everybody to a one and haul. But. Like, only three of our people can haul. Andy's always busy. Paula is... Paula's like our main hauler, because Boyle... What, actually, what does Boyle do? Oh, Boyle's doing the growing at first, of course. Actually, can you take growing down and just focus on hauling for now? Uh, 
Like, all this hauling, all this growing is well and good, but if it's just, like, you know, creating plants that are that are just going to sit around, you know. Let's take his let's take his plant cut down as well. I really want him to just focus on hauling. Even though, you know, he's like the slowest person we have. <laughs> but you know, he's going to be slow no matter what he's doing, so he might as well be doing Oh. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, well, let's see. Al Alex and Turkey Six have formed a bond. Alex has named her Mindy, so I guess Alex is now um, bonded with this turkey. Uh, and then I guess we uh, also tamed this turkey, which is interesting. I didn't know you could get a name and a tame at the same time like that. Um, can we haul these survival mules away? I thought I asked for that to be done already, but I guess not. Um, boil, stripping a human corpse, that's good. We definitely want to get these bodies away from here because of the moods. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. So he drops a personal shield. Single person energy shield device will attempt to stop any rapidly moving projectile or energy attack that comes from a distance. Does nothing against melee attacks or shots from point blank range. So... Yeah. Very good for a melee type character. We're playing horseshoes. <coughs> well, all these muffalos are asleep now, so I, I mean, I could do something to them to try and take them out, but I think we're going to be fine. We're actually doing a little bit better on meat now. We're, we're going back up on fine meals, which is nice. What's Andy up to? Just mining steel for some reason? Can you please um, haul? What's your mining at, Andy? I definitely want you to... I want you to haul before you mine, if you have nothing to construct. We get everybody hauling, if, if possible. Like, I'm, fi I'm fine with you mining, just haul first. But I guess we just don't have enough wood for him to start taking on some of these build tasks. I don't know what any of this is. I think this must have been um, from the trying to catch the thrombo. Oh, cargo pods. What do we get? Oh, medicine. That's, that's, oh, a lot of medicine. That's really good. I'm going to send someone to get this right away, actually, because it's really, 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 really awesome. Siege! Ho! Oh, okay. A group of pirates from Sword Outfit have arrived nearby. It looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with artillery from a distance. You can try and wait them out or go get them. Oh my gosh, there's like six of them. Well, it's been half an hour, so I think this is where we're going to cut it. And next time, we can figure out how we're going to deal with all these guys. This might be it for us. Let's see. Survival rifle, Molotov cocktail, heavy SMG, Molotov cocktail. They don't have a lot of rifles. They have a lot of... Um, grenade type weapons we might be able to like stand at a distance and uh, kind of try and pick them off and stuff with our assault rifle and survival rifle if we, especially if we can target some of the people with ranged weapons like if we could take out Sherman here and mole the mole's gonna be scary with this heavy SMG even though it's awful uh, well, but it's it's short range so we just need to stay out of range so when you get Sherman I mean you basically need to get Sherman and then we can, like, you know, dance away at a distance from these people and plank them. That's going to be, I think that's going to be the approach. But that's for the next episode. So if you want to see me try and stop the siege, uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, that's all for this video. So thank you.